They were in past Angel of Gateshead, South Shield, Newcastle Gateshead, Team Valley. Coming at the airport, the train, the car, a bus, the train, the ferry, the ferries that come in, the trains, I, the train, the Angel, the stadium, mm -hmm. the new bridge. You can see St James's Park. As soon as they see St James's Park. You see St James's from all directions. I'd say the Tyne. Tyne. Your bridges, your Tyne Bridge. Tyne Bridge. Not even just the Tyne Bridge, now the collection of bridges. It's not the cup. It's not the cup. It's not the cup. It's not the cup. It's not the Burning and the old and the new. There's something that's exciting to me. Somewhere and you go by the train bridge and you think, I'm home there. <laughs> Away the land! Instant Geordie lesson one. A Geordie won't use one vowel when two. Students call them diphthongs. Remember what you learned at school. A E I O U. Geordie learned it this way. I'll tell you what a Geordie is. Hot and loads of passion. Magpie. Jordy, you know. I'm black, but I've been a Jordy for 22 years. I feel myself as Jordy as much as anybody else. That's because I'm the only black Jordy in Newcastle. It's a language thing, I think. In the accent, and what have you? And speak really broad that I still don't quite understand. Geordie, 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 Magpie, Geordie, 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 Geordie. I'll tell you what a Geordie is. Geordie, you know. A Geordie's a proper Raji, right? No. The Geordie dialect is well, a good thing for the country in India. King George. That's where we're getting the M. Jordy from. Oh, I don't think they'd like to be called Geordies either. No. We're from Buckinghamshire. That's the end of me trying to talk correctly. I'll speak good grammar and Geordie dialect. I love living here and I hate living here, you know? When you're young and stuff, you realise oh, what a larger world it is, you sort of, you know, it makes you realise just how close mine was. When I was really young, I thought Newcastle was, you know, I thought the whole world was just one really small place. I live in the land of roundabouts, common is the land of roundabouts, yeah? So I had a roundabout at the bottom of the road that said Washington down the A19 that way, New York down, you know what I mean? I went that way, so I was like, wait, hey, you know? I thought I lived in America when I was a baby.
I used to go <coughs> in the sea. You used to go on the table rocks? I have swam in the table rocks. But I've never swam in the nuddy. <laughs> Another time, when I took my bather out, he had cut it right the way down. I had nothing to put on. So my friend lived just across the road from where we swam. I went again in my pants and bra. Then I had her clothes on. Well, wasn't he having a little affair with this girl, you see? Only you've got her clothes on as well, said he. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a life. I'm, now he's that down. He's down in purgatory, isn't he, Alice? My daughter said, Mother, I must have a word with the vicar because no way could I listen to him blah, blah, on about our dear father. Well, she knew what her father was, and I don't think I should say what the vicar said. Could I have a word with you, Vicar? So, and he was a padre, had been a padre in the Navy, and oh, now he's dead, Mr. And, well, thank you for telling me, Elizabeth. S.O.D. the B. <laughs> I didn't hear be down there forever, and so I've gone him and do all sorts of things. <laughs> Wine women in woodbines, he was. He was big dick. <laughs> we danced the Highland Fling when he died. Mm. <laughs> I'm truly blessed. I have excellent health. Did I he? ride my bike every day, wherever it is, I don't know. <laughs> you put it up there. there. And, and how old are you? 91. 91. Past January. <laughs> Not a tooth in my head.
Tom Foster, speaking. Hello, Tom Foster, Denise speaking. Yeah, what do you normally have? Right, we go actually up in um, three minutes. So three minutes is two pound, um, six minutes is three pound, nine minutes is four pound, and 12 minutes is five pound. Five minute session, two pound fifty. So probably if you hadn't been on some beds before, you would start at um, like three minutes. And, and how often should I do it? Well, we would sort of advise two to three times a week, but you leave 24 hours in between each session. But obviously, if you came into the um, salon, then we could discuss everything with you and look at your skin type and things. Um, it, de- it depends on what kind of skin you've got, like what colour in you are. You know, if, you, if you're tan easy, I mean, you should have your first sunbed and see what you feel like. And if you're reasonably dark skinned, you can do six minutes, right? All jewelries are considered, and I would like to think that we're all friendly and you know, sort of hospitable and welcoming to whoever comes up. showed us we were different. Since we moved to Newcastle, we found it, you know, people tell you who you are, remind you who you are. We fight it. let go. We weren't frightened. Why should we? I mean, my kids grown up, they're British. So all the people know me now. All they know us very well. Last 20 odd years they know us, you know. I found it very, very comfortable here now. I mean, I can go on a holiday now. I've got customers that will bring my husband and my kids a meal. They're so nice. And that's why at half the time we don't feel like moving from here now because we found it's like a family. It does take time, but you've got to be strong. You've got to be strong. Hello! Just human. Just human. People are just human. In us, people are just humans, which are. Just normal people who like football, and dance, dance and pop music and Shiba. play computers and Shiba. In us people are just Chava kind of Chava kind of that wears rock tour and tracks the bottom and tread every jumper. Chava, hi, Chava's a, it's a Romani word um, and it means unruly young boy. 
and a lot of uh, West End Chava culture, the words come from Romani. Gadji is a Romani word, uh, meaning old man. Um, there's, there's lots of them. Well, from when I was younger, I've come from a travelling family, which which you would call gypsies in other people's eyes, right? But uh, I call them travellers, you know? I get a person's check every time I walk along the street. I've been in trouble since I was, say, 13. What I'm trying to do is trying to sort my life out in a minute. I have been violent in the past, you know, but uh, I'm, I'm not a violent person un unless it's unless it's necessary. necessary, necessary. I've done drugs. I've drunk. I've done violence. I've done crime. I've done it all. I just wish I hadn't done it. I don't want younger people coming like what I've what I've been. I think I can change like Sleep, giants, sleep, all in a line. Giants idled up along the time. Your mate's spirit seated within, all your coats wearing thin. Ton after ton, load after load, left unused, unwanted, left to corrode. No more brushes, chisels, or windy line, once used on the giants of the time. You worked so hard, you moved so slowly on your track. The last buzzer has gone. Your master won't be back. Your master is dead. He rests on a deep, dark, murky bed. 
No master, no more wheels turning around. The last buzzer has gone. Listen, hear that sound. It's not all doom and gloom, not by a long way, you know. Uh, I think the will to succeed is here, and that's a good plus. Oh yeah, I think that seems to be a, um, a better feeling around. And I think that goes a lot down to people's being employed, you know. I honestly believe when people are employed, you have, you have the whole industry and the area um, benefits, not just the people who are working here, but you must remember when people are working in the shipyards, for every one person in the shipyard, there's someone outside the shipyard supplying them as well. So if you have a thousand people employed at Wall's End, you've got a thousand people outside supplying machinery, even down at the fish and chip shops and the paper lad, you know, the, the fish shop has to take someone else on for lunch times and the paper lad has to get more paper, so it has a knock-on effect, you know. And I honestly feel as a, um, a good feeling in the area. Yes, we could do with more work. And I'm, I'm sure it'll, it'll get better. It's got to, you know, we've got to make it work. Oh, hi there. I was wondering if you had any jobs in, like, telly sales or Thank anything. you very much. Uh, tally sales, yeah, was it uh, part time? Or call centres or something. Yeah, was it part time or full time you got after? Uh, part time. Oh, you know. Um, have you had any sort of experience in that sector at all? Uh, no. Craft has multi skills. Oh, hi there. I was wondering if you had any um, vacancies for tally sales or um, uh, call centre stuff. Right. Um, we got all kinds. Okay. All kinds of, uh, from PA all the way through, you know, uh, from office juniors and receptionists to, you know, my busy night on. Lines are busy, would you like to hold on? There are a number of vacancies within Newcastle. It really depends on the individual's background and, and, and your name is. If you were working, uh, you, you may be working at a telesales centre where you are required to call on people. People just want to get into sales at any cost. We try to connect you. The number you are calling knows you are waiting. You know, you do get bitter. You can't tell a bit, you do you get bitter. It could but be better. It could be better, or it could be the bit of lobbies and projects stored, and I think that is a really simple problem.
because everything's new, things happen. Our new custom new, right? Not even hip hop, not even hip hop, not I can't even realize it. Yeah. 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 And like the quayside and places like that where you get like the better class of people if you like. <laughs> Just evolves and consumerism is the thing. Just evolves and is the thing. And consumerism is the thing. And if there is thing, and if there is, if there's the need for that, then it will happen. It will evolve. Football, 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 football. Um, Ninety-nine point nine percent, and everything else seems to come second. It's just an identity in the northeast. It bonds people together. It's like a religion. You really feel it, but you belong, even though you might have lost. Even in defeat, you can like support each other and say, oh, come on, we'll, we'll do well next time. I would say it's all about football. Um, and it's black and white and red and white. And uh, we're obviously black and white. I think when you die, you see this light at the end of a tunnel. And you start going down the tunnel, and then you can hear the roar of the crowd, and then you run out onto the pitch. You're centre forward, you're number nine, and you run out there, you score a hat trick, and all the people who've died are in the crowd cheering you on. You win the cup, and you walk up, and God hands you the cup, and you cheer, and then you spend the rest of heaven like. It's all eyes on Newcastle, and all eyes on Newcastle United. All eyes on Newcastle and all eyes on Newcastle. All eyes on Newcastle and all eyes on Newcastle United. Comments being paid. We all drink whiskey and you guys are drunk. We all drink whiskey and you guys are drunk. We all drink whiskey and you guys are drunk. We all drink whiskey and you guys are drunk. The new guys are boys are in town. Through the joy of football, which is at the heart of the culture of this urban area, I think there's a real way forward, 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 forward. Newcastle's mint, you know what I mean? It's still mint. The, the fact that it is so grimy and we're all sort of a bit bitter than that, maybe, guy, <coughs> but adds to us. the one thing that comes out is comedy, is yeah. sort of a sense we of humor. Laugh. We laugh. We laugh every day. Every we, day. We might get, you know what I mean? We might get pissed out with daft skulls, get stoned out our heads, but we'll laugh. We'll <laughs> really laugh. No matter what you say about Newcastle, every person who lives here loves it and they love. I love it and I love the people. <laughs>